Okay. Uh, what's hi? Wait, what's my hi, <laughs> Zoe? And oh my goodness. What's my name? Hi, I'm Zoe Hinton. I'm here with Lizzie. Hi, I know my name. Yeah, Lizzie knows her name. I don't apparently. And this is Star Wars Geek Girl. I remember that name. Uh, you know, you know what's funny? What? It's like if if other podcasters were to mess up and like forget their name, they just like you know edit this out and then you know redo the whole thing. But we don't. It's okay. Editing is for adults, and we are not adults. We will be soon. Don't say that. Um, okay. So I have a sticky note with some notes on it. So I'll talk yes. about that stuff. We don't, We're professional. We doesn't have Google Docs access at the moment, so. No, I don't. I control the notes. No corgi picture. No. <laughs> Comic Sans. <laughs> it's just my handwriting, which is much worse than Comic Sans. <laughs> okay. It's just must be comic fans. <laughs> so, the first note thing I have is that Kelly Marie Tran deleted her social media recently, her Instagram and her Twitter. All the posts from both of those are gone. Mm. She sucks. Cause I followed her on Instagram, and her posts were always just so fun. So, it really sucks. But if that's what she needed to do, then, you know... That, that is sad. People are jerk faces. Yeah, people were being awful to her. Um, and Daisy Ridley also deleted her Instagram a while back, too, because people were being... attacking her. So, like... It's just... Leave them alone. Like, why? Why? Like, I thought Rose was an awesome character, but, like, even if you didn't, you don't harass Kelly Marie Tran... You, yeah. You don't don't do that. <laughs> hmm. That's just really sad. Why people like that's so definitely not mature. Like these are all adults. Yeah. I think most likely. I can't think of so it's just, that. Like yeah, I can't. <laughs> oh my god! I have a story. Oh no. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I did a, an event not a while ago, kind of recently. It was a Paul Biani library event that is pretty great. So I had to do shows, and I was Sabine. And, like, I told you this little kid came up to me and was like, Oh, my God, you're my favorite character. Can I hug you? And I was like, Yes, hug me, please. And then, but there was this other kid. whole time he was just standing up and like giving us a thumbs down and saying boo I was like what the heck kid <laughs> why I was and I had to make my uh, a speech in the um in the show you know as Sabine saying you know hey rebel cause it's cool <laughs> and <laughs> That's definitely not that what was, it was. That was all you could think of. It's like, uh, saving lives, nah, do it because it's cool. It is cool. But to be all colorful. Yeah. Anyway, okay, yeah. So, I, I, was, I went up to the front of the stage and did that. And then, like, this kid, I swear to God, just, like, kept booing. And, like, all the other kids were just happy, and, like, they were being sweet little angels, and this kid was just a jerk. <laughs> and, and I wanted so bad, because I had my gun out, because oh, I was yeah. holding it. I wanted so bad to, like, pretend to shoot him. So bad. <laughs> so close. Ugh. This is the horrible kid. So, that's one kid that could have been annoying, Kelly. <laughs> no, it's not, but it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. It's just because the Star Wars fandom can be like very awesome. 
but it can also be very not. <laughs> like there, yeah, there, there, like... Are, there are different parts of it, and there are definitely parts that like really suck. <laughs> yeah, they're they're like parts where it's yeah, this is they're so nice, they're so sweet, and then there's the people that are like sending death threats and yeah, so dumb. Like, do you have nothing else to do with your life? Right? I'm sorry. How do you have time to just? Like, who just wakes up in the morning and is like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send death threats to Kathleen Kennedy because I didn't like a fictional space movie she produced. Like, <laughs> who does that? I don't, like, I don't understand the whole, like, reasoning behind it. You think that they're going to just give up and give you your Star Wars just because you said, hey, you're going to die if you don't do this? Or you guys suck? Like, yeah, you what? Think they're going to be like, I'm going to, you know... I'm gonna be mean. That'll make them make the kind of Star Wars I want. That'll make them respect me if I just harass them all day. That's how you gain respect in this world. You know? Duh. You know, you wanna... uh, it's just it's ridiculous. Uh, and he hasn't deleted stuff, but John Boyega. If you go on, like, the replies of any of his tweets, it's just, like, people saying, like, awful and, like, racist things to him. It's like, just, just stop. Just leave him alone, man. He, like... But, like, let's it's say like, you do have, like, legitimate grievances with a movie. Like, John Boyega and Kelly Marie Tran and Daisy Ridley, they didn't write the movie. <laughs> Right, so they it's were, not and, like... They, and, like, they didn't... People are going at them like, why did you do this plot thing? I'm like, they didn't. <laughs> they just showed up and <laughs> did their job. If, don't harass... I'm not condoning the harassment of these people, but, like, if you have genuine, like, questions or criticisms and it's not about, like, someone's performance or acting, they should go to, like, the writers. <laughs> don't harass them, obviously, but, like... Don't just, like, hey, why did you say this line? They're like, I don't know, man, I didn't write it. I just showed up and got paid. I did my job. Yeah. I mean, people just need to, like, chill. Just take a chill pill. People think they have so much power behind their phones, and, like, you don't. You're just dumb. I'm sorry. Not sorry. But... It's just, I don't yeah. know what they expect to gain. Like, what do they want exactly? They want their Star Wars. But they're not. It's just, it's ridiculous. Because there are ways, like, to. You, like, there are genuine criticisms you can make of, like, anything. And there are ways that you can put those out there. And harassing the people who made the movie or whatever. It's not the way to go. Yeah, it's <laughs> I don't know. People are just interesting individuals who think they can do whatever they want. Ugh. Nah. It's just like... But, like, people, like, they really just, like, were on their phone or the computer or whatever, and they, like, they typed that out. And were like, yeah, this is a good idea. Post. <laughs> it I sounds so like, I can't, weird when you explain well, it. That's exactly what they're doing. Like, I can't even get into the thought process because I don't understand it. Like, they sit there, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to be mean. And then they read it and are like, yeah, this is a good idea. Click. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> do you have nothing better to do? They're just... They're... I don't know. I, just, I genuinely cannot fathom doing that at all. Right, so it's just so... It's weird, like, you just get up and you're like, oh, okay, I really, really hate Star Wars. Gonna, gonna send death threats now. I hate Star Wars, so I'm just gonna post about it constantly on social media, because that's what you do when you hate things. 
Yeah. Just like... It's like me with Avatar, you know? I don't even go and death threat people. It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) I just... I cannot even begin to understand that. Like, what... Because, like, okay, let's say you have... You dislike the way, like, Luke's storyline was handled in The Last Jedi. And you want to maybe tweet at Ryan Johnson about that. You have two options. Go with curse words and insults and just attack him. Or you can be like, hey, I don't understand why you did this thing. Would you like to explain it or something? And people always go for the first one. And well, they don't, well, because they don't want to explain. You, they don't want to explain. They want what they want. They want their own Star Wars they that they've been making in their head for so long. They don't want a discussion. And, like, they're just, like, how do I put this? Um, like, if you have this these criticisms and you go and just attack the person, like, as a person, there's a word for that. I think it's Latin. I know it, but I can't think of it right now. But you attack them as a person instead of, like, the work that you're trying to discuss like you're just immediately putting them on the defensive <laughs> and then oh I know what you're talking about I can't figure out that word it's like ad hominem or something like that and like then yeah. you, you attack them and then they go on the defensive and say something in, especially in Ryan Johnson's case a little bit like snappy back and then all of a sudden they're like mm-hmm. oh my gosh he's so mean he's so rude he attacked me I'm like well <laughs> um, <laughs> If you're gonna just go at someone cursing, and if this was real life, probably, like, hitting them. Not that they'd hit them in real life, but, like, the real life equivalent would just probably be, like, hitting them. You can't cry when they hit you back. That's Mm -hmm. not how it works. You can't be like... All I could think... All I could think is, like, this video that my dad showed me. Like, apparently... I don't... I don't know. All I heard from him was there's this video and people are upset because it looks like this adult is beating up this kid. Then you see the whole video and it's actually the kid like harassing him and like pushing the adult around and just, you know, trying to act tough and like hitting the adult. And so the adult just pushes him away and the kid trips and falls down and hits his face so he's crying I'm like oh my god this is <laughs> this is <laughs> the adult is Star Wars and child <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's just I don't I don't understand because they're like you know so they'll just like start harassing someone and then when the person responds in even a slightly like hostile manner which is completely warranted They'll be like, oh, Lucasfilm is so unprofessional, they attacked me. It's like, well, you're leaving out the part where you attack them first, buddy. Yeah. Ugh, I don't... I don't understand. Uh, I, I don't understand, even. It's just... So, it's it's, so, I was gonna say it's okay. It's not okay. It's so but... <laughs> it's really not okay. Like, um... I'm still, like, not over the fact that, like, like, they just, they type it all out and are like, yeah, this is a good idea. You know, there's nothing wrong with this at all. This is going to get me what I want. This is going to get them to remake the movie. (laughs) No, they're not. (laughs) Well, I feel like part of the thing that, like, that part of the reason Last Jedi gets so much hate is because everyone, including myself, I think pretty much everyone had already, from the time between Force Awakens and Last Jedi, they'd already written another movie in their head. Over the, the yeah, next, what, like two years? They'd already yeah, created a movie. Saying. And then they were going to go in, yeah, I know, and then watch, and they thought they were going to watch that movie. And then Last Jedi wasn't that movie. And they were like, well... Since I didn't get to predict everything about it, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. So. Eh. I, because I feel like 
Because there are people who have criticisms of The Last Jedi, which would could lead to, like, an actual discussion <laughs> about the movie and its potential flaws. But no one wants to actually talk like civil human beings. Everyone just wants to scream at each other. <laughs> and it's just like... Like, no one's going to take your criticism seriously if you bring it up by screaming and cursing and sending death threats. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they won't really take the criticism anyway, but... um... Well, I mean, I think if, like, you, if you have genuine thoughts about how maybe a story or character could have been handled better, I think that should be listened to. I think they should listen to fans to a degree, you know. I mean, listen, do anything about it? No. Well, not necessarily. I think if they look at it and they're like, well, um, a lot of fans thought this could have been done better. So we'll spend more time on it in the next movie or something like that. I'm not saying, like, rework the movie. I'm saying, like... No, I like, know. Yeah, okay. But I feel like... Because uh, I think... Star Wars should do its own thing. Right. Instead of listening to the fans. Yeah. I don't know. I do think... I think listening to criticism is good for any medium of anything you know right. I think there's a point where you can feel like um here's a criticism but I don't like 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 it or think it's right so I'm going to continue doing what I was doing in that area but I think you can mm-hmm. look at criticism and figure out how to make your work better and I think that's something that Star Wars could do if people actually brought up their criticisms <laughs> In a way. Nicely. Yeah, nicely and respectfully. Non death threaty. Yeah. Well, because so many of those people are like, um, it's like, they're like, oh, I hated The Last Jedi. It's like, okay, why? And then they're like, oh, mm-hmm, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you can, um, you can not yeah. like a movie. That's allowed. It can just be not enjoyable to you. Regardless of, like, the artistic quality, if you come out of a movie and you're like, that was boring, like, that's entirely, you entirely have the right to that opinion, but you can't just be like, oh, the movie sucks. It's like, and then not have, like, a reason. Yeah. People. People are great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to talk about something else now that we've complained about dumb people? (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, yeah, I guess. All right, let's talk about good things. So EA, or not EA, E3 started today, or the conference at least started today. I don't know if the whole convention starts earlier. But the the EE, wow, too many E's. The EA conference... (laughs) Um, was today. It was just, I think at the time we were recording this, it was only like an hour or so ago. It wasn't that long ago. I mean, a couple hours ago. Hurry. Hurry. We need to release this before now this is podcasting does. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, they had a bunch of video game announcements. So, if you're into e- like a lot of EA games, you should watch the whole conference or at least read about it because it's pretty long. <laughs> Um, but they announced some Star Wars stuff, and that's what we're going to talk about here. So, they first announced that General Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin Skywalker would all show up in Battlefront 2 as heroes, and, um, they would add a Geonosis map. That's cool. Yeah. Except, you know, I've only ever been playing Ewok Hunt right now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that much Battlefront 2, actually. Fun. You know, the it's my main... It's being an Ewok. <laughs> I know, my and main FPS killing them. is Overwatch. I'm too bad at Battlefront 2. 
Um, uh, but with this, I lately. I hope it'll open the door to more prequel era and Clone Wars stuff. And bring that into Battlefront 2 and any future Battlefront games. Because right now, they have... Unless they've added stuff since I've played it, which has granted been a while. They have Nab- the Naboo map, Yoda, and Darth Maul. And that's like it. Right? I, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. But I think that's like the only like prequel stuff in there. Right now, unless there's another map that I don't know about. <laughs> um, um. So yeah, now they'll be, they'll be adding Genesis and Grievous and Obon and Anakin. So I hope that'll not only more prequel era stuff, but maybe bring some Clone Wars stuff in too. I will play Battlefront mm-hmm. for hours and hours if they put Ahsoka in the game. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. It'll be my new favorite game in the entire world. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) So, yeah. And if they add Clone Wars stuff, I would also like to see some Rebel stuff. I think a Lothal map would be pretty cool. That would be cool. If I can be Sabine, and if I can fly the ghost... I will die happy. (laughs) (laughs) Except, I would be sad if I got killed as Sabine or any of the ghost crew, so I might just hide in a corner the whole game. (laughs) I just stare at them. I I hate. I don't want them to die. I murder them three (laughs) times harder. (laughs) Please don't murder me. Uh, it's like my dad and I have been playing Battlefront, but we're playing uh, heroes versus villains. So it's, you know, it's cool. You're a hero every time. But um, I'm not that good at heroes. So I keep dying as Kyle. <laughs> and I feel so bad. I wouldn't. Uh, I <laughs> And then I feel bad whenever I die as Chewy. You know what Safi used to do? Sorry, but you know what Safi used to do in the old... Well, not old. In the new old Battlefront. In the first of the new Battlefronts. There's too many Battlefronts. Yeah. <laughs> she would... We would do, like, a hero battle, like, the split-screen thing. And she would be Palpatine, mm-hmm. or... And I would be Luke, or something like that. And... What she would do is we would fight, and I would almost kill her, and then she'd, like, get me. And you know what she used to do? Because, you know, you don't, you can't really, like, in, the, in that game you couldn't heal as a hero? She would just jump mm-hmm. off a cliff and die. And I don't get credit <laughs> for the kill, and then she gets full health again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she would do this till she won. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. That's so great. Oh my God. I have an evil sister. <laughs> um. So yeah. Battlefront. 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 Oh, I saw another headline because I looked over at the article I pulled up for this and it said Battlefield 5 is getting a battle royale but I thought it said Battlefront 5 and I was like what? Where was I for Battlefronts 3 and 4? It's like 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, then there's another game announced another Star Wars game it's by Respawn which is the Titanfall developer that's why they sound familiar I was like Respawn okay um and 
It's coming holiday 2019, so we'll probably see it in like December. And it's about mm-hmm. it's between episodes three and four. It's called J- a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And did I say that already? I think I said that already. Um, and that's all we know. It's it will tell an original story of a surviving Padawan set shortly after the events of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Kanan. So yeah, Kanan. <laughs> Kanan. I would be okay. It's Caleb if, Doom. I would be okay. If, I have figured it out. I would be okay if it was just playing through Caleb Doom, like the Kanan comics. Yeah. I, I'd be so okay with that, actually. I just feel like a part of it, like a sep- like an extra special like mission thing, just being Caleb. That would be cool. My dad would be happy. Yeah. He has. He Maybe. has to like dress up as Kanan and then play Kanan. <laughs> Double Kanan. I was gonna have. I was gonna have a the co- next costume besides Sabine costume is um a jedi costume so i because i need to get that for saber guild and get it approved um and it's gonna be the caleb doom jedi like in the comics you need a janus casmir now huh a janus casmir you know i don't know where to find one it's sad So, yeah, it's going to be a third-person action-adventure project. Directed by the director of God of War. uh, I don't like third-person games, though. Uh, Huh? I don't like third-person games, though. I prefer first-person. Yeah. The only third-person game I'm good at is Disney Infinity. (laughs) And maybe by the redemption. Hmm. That'll be cool, though. We'll get to be... It's an original story, so... It won't... Probably won't be Kanan. But... You know, pretty cool. Can we, like... Is it gonna be, like... Is it gonna be, like... Like, you play through the game in the style of, like, uh, I'm trying to think, like, Red Dead Redemption or, like, uh, what are other games? <laughs> I don't know. But, like, Wait. you just, like, play through Wait, the game. Wait, what? Is, I'm trying to figure out how to best word it. It's going to be, like, you play through the story or, like, like, uh, like Red Dead or, like, The Last of Us. Where you play through as a given character, and you just, just, like, go through the story, and you don't really get to, like, choose, like, make choices in the story? Or is it gonna be, like, like, a Bethesda, like, Mass Effect or Dragon Age or something, where you get to, like, create your character and make choices in the story? (laughs) Um, I guess, I hope it's the first one. (laughs) You hope it's the first one? Yeah. I hope it's the second one. I like, I like creating characters. Yeah, I don't like doing that. I like, and already, it's (laughs) like, I guess, I think I am good at third person games. Um, like, I think... Tomb Raider? I can't really think of it. I can't. I don't want to get it wrong. I'm pretty sure. I'm scared. Being wrong. Uh. Sorry. Um. I just like. Like, if you let me create my character, it's your game is automatically the best game ever to me. If you have an in-depth character creator, 
that I can just spend hours in creating different characters, I will love you forever. <laughs> That's all I want. I just wanna I just wanna make my person. That's why I play Fallout I'm 4. Not so creative. Much. I just design hmm? all the different characters and then play them for like an hour and then make a new character. <laughs> I do the same thing in like Skyrim think- and everything. I think you're talking about like sims the sims yeah i have the sims that's that's i love yeah. the sims i have a million characters in the sims because i just create new ones and then play them and then i get bored and create more <laughs> except yeah no, i do have like, one I don't like family i have not gotten bored of yet and that is my canera family <laughs> Which is the sole reason I got that game was so that I could create them. I downloaded mods for Scars and for Blind Eyes and for Leku so I could create Kanan and Hera. That's all I want. <laughs> so, yeah, thinking of what I know about EA games and um stuff i'm going to guess that jedi fallen order will not be the create your own character game i want it to be <laughs> but that's okay probably as long as not good. though if someone yeah. did want to release a game where i could just create my own character and run around i would be forever indebted <laughs> to the, whoever made that decision <laughs> that would be they don't kinda- make I guess to me that's boring. It's boring. Yeah. Have you ever played a Bethesda game? A what? A Bethesda game. You know, a game from that production game studio. No, but it just... I don't like having to create characters. And... I don't understand you, Lizzie. I don't understand any of the <laughs> words you are saying. <laughs> um, it's just it's just boring just give me the character give me the story and we're good but like what if you want to like make choices in the game no okay I don't understand I don't want to make choices I'm indecisive oh okay then definitely don't play Life is Strange <laughs> That mm. game is not for indecisive people. <laughs> um, it's the only thing I'm missing from the million. That's millions in exaggeration. It's more like a hundred something mods I have on our Skyrim and Fallout games. Skyrim more so than Fallout is that there I couldn't find a mod for a Twi'lek race. I have one on the computer, but not one for the Xbox. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> mm. uh, I like video games. <laughs> I think we should just have a million Star Wars video games. And not just mm. Battlefront, because I'm bad at first person shooters. <laughs> Where I can play with other people. Just let me shoot the mindless AI. Because <laughs> I can actually hit them. Real people jump around like maniacs. I don't know. <laughs> That's like all the news I have. About the Star Wars. The Star Wars. Yeah. I, um, I don't have any news except my dad is at the Legoland, um, Star Wars event right now. He's having a good time. And my mom did not get in a car crash. Good. Usually, so every she time does, we go, right? yeah, every time we go to Legoland, she gets in the car crash. So you broke the curse, basically. 
Well, I didn't. My, maybe my dad did. Okay. Your dad broke the curse. He saved the day. He is the hero, and you have to worship him. <laughs> All right. That's, I don't know what other Star Wars news there is, because if you look up Star Wars and go to the news part of Google, it's all about how Star Wars fans are mean to Kelly Marie Tran, or it's about E3. I don't have any Let's see. What else we got? I can't find anything. It's all about Jedi Fallen Order now. There's one that says, Does having two Star Wars sons mean a planet will burn up? I don't know. Get your science out of here, man. <laughs> Star Wars is science fantasy. Dude. You know what my physics teacher wrote in my yearbook? Huh? He wrote, you know what my physics teacher wrote in my yearbook? He wrote... Do I know? What? It, like, it's... Okay. In my yearbook... You're breaking up. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. In my yearbook, my physics teacher, uh, he said, um, or he wrote in my yearbook, he, oh, why can I not speak? He wrote, may the mass times acceleration be with you. And I just stared at him. Ugh. I already took my physics final. So I'm done with that mess. Physics is hard. Actually, it's not that hard. But it can be hard. Sometimes. Because, you know, in the beginning I of the year... I am all done with school. In the beginning of the year, physics is all like, oh, it's super easy, you know? You just gotta, like, calculate how far or how fast something goes. And then at the end of the year, you gotta, like, do, like, centripetal force and, like, light rays and stuff. Like, I don't know how to do that, man. <laughs> There's so much. Yeah. I cannot think of Star Wars things right now to say. Um, Everyone's... There's a bunch of articles where, like, has Star Wars fatigue set in? It's like, no, it hasn't. Solo was what? The fourth movie that came out? You know, Marvel's been making movies for, like, a million years now. It's not Star Wars fatigue. It's just that people underestimated Alden Ehrenreich. That's it. He was actually really good. Oh, and also everyone's saying that Jedi clothes are a massive plot hole. Like, is it really that what? massive of a plot hole if it took 40 years for people to pick up on it? <laughs> how, how are they even justify how are you justifying this metro.co.uk so you're gonna have them come after us now I don't care <laughs> okay um, oh, okay. So, what they're saying is Obi Wan wearing Jedi robes in A New Hope is a plot hole because people would know that he's a Jedi because everyone knows what Jedi look like, I guess. And, of course, um, and Jedi are the only ones that wear brown robes. You know, no one else is allowed to do that. There weren't plenty of background characters in all the movies wearing brown robes. Duh, they're all Jedi. <laughs> Everyone is a <laughs> Jedi, actually. Duh. 
I don't. <laughs> People are getting so mad. Just calm down, man. It's just robes. <laughs> I don't understand. But it's a massive plot hole. It. <laughs> It must be discussed. I mean, I'm sure if you looked hard, if you looked hard enough at any movie, there would be massive plot holes because it's a movie, dude. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't know. People are interesting individuals. How it like? like I said. I, it what? took me what, fifteen seconds to figure out why that plot hole was dumb. Like, and people are writing whole articles about this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my god! That, does that ever happen to you though, people? go up to you like at school and they're just like oh if you like Star Wars so much and explain this and then you do and they're just like whatever it's like well you, you asked me y- yes you asked All me too you can't <sighs> oh this is kind of Star Warsy. in you know the Wreck- Wrecker Ralph 2 the new one that's coming yeah. out yeah and the trailers have like the Falcon and R2 and Stormtroopers in the background. That's Star Wars, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just... I'm probably going to see that movie. Just because... I don't know. I don't know what other movies I'm going to see this summer. I think I want to see Ocean's 8. But I think that's... It. I should probably watch Infinity War at some point. Yeah. I'm just like... Because I'm... I, mean, I at this point I can't even say I didn't have a chance to see it because I have had several chances by now. I just I'm never in the mood to see all my favorite characters die, <laughs> cause I know who dies, but I don't want them to die. <laughs> so I'm just gonna ignore it until they come back in the next movie. But you have to see it, oh, so that way I can oh, tell watch. you. <laughs> So you can't argue with me about Bucky and Doctor Strange okay. in the morning. I will say that hate is a strong word. I'm just, I think they're overrated. I think there are more interesting characters. Okay, yeah, there are, but... It, but uh, <sighs> <laughs> not gonna sorry Lizzie. No, we already we already did I'm sorry Lizzie <sighs> no you're not <laughs> I'm a little sorry that's so why I do not believe you but okay oh my gosh what oh wait nothing never mind I read that wrong. <laughs> never mind Okay, false alarm. False alarm. No Let's stupidity see. here. There's a whole news article. It says, New Star oh, Wars no. movie star, Thandie Newton, goes vegan. That's news, I guess. That's, that's amazing news. Incredible. I'm so glad. I um, went vegan for... 30 minutes. I ate a falafel burrito thing. I don't think it counts as going vegan if you only do it for 30 minutes. Because, like, I could say, oh, I went non-vegan for 30 minutes and just not eat anything. What else? Um, The Last Jedi is coming out on Netflix June 26th. So but why not Force Awakens? Because they're mean. Um, Oscar Isaac's going to be in the new Adam's Family movie, but that's going to be animated. He's not actually going to, like, show his face. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
doesn't matter. Um, we can talk about how yesterday, not yesterday, Thursday, I spent pretty much the entire day teaching different people how to play sabak and almost getting yelled at for gambling because I thought we were playing poker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> um, I should learn how to play. It's especially great when you're teaching like freshmen and then one of them goes like, I love gambling! And your gifted teacher just goes, ugh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a junior. I mean, I guess I took... Oh god. Hey, I'm gonna be a senior, okay? You can shush. You're so old. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> only a couple so short. months... Only a couple months older than you. That's what? September to March. So that's like six months. It's like half a year. Yeah. You're shorter. Maybe so. <laughs> huh? Maybe so. Yes. You said, you sent me that thing over to text. It was like, if anyone is younger than me but taller than me, I have the right to arrest you. It's true. <laughs> and... I told I, you, Brian. You know what? I hope Alex me, grows shorty. to be like six and a half feet, just so he's taller than you. Huh? I hope Axel grows to be like six and a half feet, so he's taller than you. I can still like take him down, probably. <laughs> I don't care about that. I just want to be taller than you. You gotta pull through for me. Well, what Axel. if I be tall? What if I? What if I break his leg? <laughs> 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 he'd still like he'd still have them they'd okay what if they were off <laughs> he'll get new legs that make him look taller oh no he'll be mall yeah and instead of like screaming Kenobi and then he could do a mall <laughs> costume yeah that'd be good for him, maybe. Maybe. Actually, I don't think he needs legs. He's too lazy. <laughs> he doesn't need legs. He really doesn't. I, I guess I don't need him either. <laughs> All right, I found an article. We're gonna be honest. I'm on page like no, no. 18 of this news. It says, it's about Last Why? Shot, and it says the new Star Wars novel goes deep into the past and future of Han Solo. Doesn't really go into the future, considering we already saw him die in Force Awakens. So, I wouldn't say it's, like, the future, but, you know. Mm. <sighs> so you're just doing that now. Yeah. Nice. I do need to go soon. Start making lunch. Yeah, it's gonna be like it's four thirty, but yeah, it's not four thirty for you. So <laughs> yeah, we can wrap it up. Yeah. I think we talked good about good Star Wars things. Yeah. Oh god, no! I just hung up. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Lizzie. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Was that you? I, I clicked, I accidentally clicked the space bar and I didn't know it would, I didn't know you it would killed me. I'm so sorry. Okay. You, that's, you destroyed me. That's fine. It's fine. We good. It's still recording. Um, okay. So you're going to go make lunch, I guess. So we should wrap it up. So. Yes. Uh, I'm making avocado grilled cheese sandwiches. Avocado grilled cheese. Sounds good. I made guac 
on Friday because I stayed home since I didn't have any finals. I ate two avocados for ate the entire bowl. So good. Um, nice. I was all by myself. It was just me and the dogs. And I ate a bunch of guacamole. Get rid of my sticky knife. Nice. All right. So you can go make your avocado grilled cheese. All right. So I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. Hey, you remembered your name. I did remember my name. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you for listening to Star Wars Geek Girl. Um, may the force be with you and goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.